Hi YouTube family, this is Bonnie with Bonnie's Bargains and today we're going to be cooking hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. And after you use this technique, this method, you'll never boil eggs again. Um, it's perfect. What I'm showing you today, it will cook these eggs perfect. They will never be overcooked or undercooked. And so this is the way to go again simplify 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 for all of those of you that are just starting out cooking this would be wonderful for you instant pot is the greatest thing since almost sliced bread so <laughs> the good thing about when you cook the eggs it doesn't matter if you put in six or 24 it doesn't matter they all cook the same just make sure that you do not go past the max line. And there's the max line in the pot, and don't go over that. So we'll get started. The one thing that you need to do is add one cup of cold water if you have a six quart. Now, if you have an eight quart, you need to use one and a half uh, cup of water. And the cold water you can get from the tap, but it affects the cooking time. So ensure that it's cold, not ice water, but cold. So let me get this from the tap. Just give me just one sec. Okay, it's too bad you can't have your own producer, right? But anyway, I've got one cup of cold water going to pour it in and again you either put the tray in that the instant pot came with or the steam basket and again this thing is wonderful I got this off of Amazon and you can put uh, cook all kinds of vegetables in there like peas corn carrots broccoli so this is this is a godsend right here it's wonderful and then six eggs and so I'm just going to put it, these around in the steam basket. And it really doesn't matter how you place them. And then I'll put this here. So sometimes this is a little tough for me to do with the Instant Pot. Mine says close and open. So, it's hard for me to do it this way because we have it this way. There we go. So, we are closed. And so, the next thing, this is also important for safety reasons, always ensure that your Instant Pot, when it is cooking, that it is um, sealed and not dent. Be because sealed is it sealing in the pressure and so again you do not want to have it on um, venting and the uh, red button on mine is usually down so there's not that much to worry about now we're going to hit uh, pressure cooker on mine but some people have manual so you're going to hit the button and decrease it down to five minutes so let's do that. So on mine, we're going to hit the pressure cooker button and then we're going to decrease. I'm just ensuring for five minutes and it will automatically come on by itself when it gets to the temperature. It won't take very long, there it goes. So you know now that it is building up pressure to cook, cook those eggs. And it will come on when it starts cooking and let you know how far along it is. So, and I'll show you that if you've never used one of these. And a lot of people are afraid of these, but as soon as you get, get used to using one, you'll never go back. I'm just saying, it, it cooks everything so good. And to me, I haven't cooked anything that I didn't like so far in the Instant Pot. So the other thing is, 
um, when you put, again, when you put the, the lid on, make sure it's sealed. I can't say that enough. Uh, the other thing I would like to say, while it's cooking, you're going to get a bowl, fill it with water, and add ice. So let, let me do that while we're here. Just one sec. Okay, so I have water and now I'm going to fill it with ice. So, and I'm sorry again, I don't have my own producer, so I'm running around. And I'm sorry about that. Hold on just a sec, let me get some ice. So this is what it looks like, the ice and the water, of course, as you know that, but it, the eggs are going to have an ice bath for five minutes. So this is actually called a 555 method. So it's easy to remember that because they're going to cook, the eggs are going to cook for five minutes. Then um, when they get through, you're automatically going to natural release. And what that means is I'm going to switch it from seal to venting. Always, always use something long and I step back. But again, that's extra cautious on my, for myself. And I just use young, uh, long tongs. I also use these to take the eggs out to place them in the water. And because it, they will be very hot. So, but anyway, again, five minutes to cook, five minutes natural release, and then you're going to leave them in the ice water for five minutes. Now, the other good thing about this, if you decide to take the eggs out, out of the water, then you're going to, you can put them in a bowl or an egg crate or a carton, whatever you use and you can store them in the refrigerator up to, I would say, five days. Or if you decide to peel them, if you're going to peel them, you can do that and leave them in the fridge for three days. For me, I'll be peeling these and then I'm going to be making deviled eggs right away. But I definitely want to show you uh, I'll cut up a couple of the eggs, half them, and let you see how they turned out because they have a really nice yellow flavor. Uh, sorry, color. Man, my talk can help. And I'm not even having a senior moment. I just can't talk. But, um, so that's what's going on with these. And I'll definitely be putting the recipe in the uh, description area. So you can probably follow that a lot better than you can me talking today. So I'm going to put this on hold and I'll be back with you. We'll let this thing get to cooking, get it where it needs to be, and I'll show you what the Instant Pot does when it stops cooking. And so you'll know. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Now you can see that the, crop, um, the Instant Pot has quick cooking. And so it says LO, zero, zero. So it's completely through cooking. Now we can vent. So I'm going to push the button from seal to vent. And again, I use long thong, tongs, and I'm going to push it over. And so it's releasing the steam. And it doesn't take it just a minute, so this looks like a long process, but it's not. It's on video. And 
And again, for safety reasons, we want to be safe. We're almost there. And then also, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the little red button has popped up in the back of the Instant Pot so you know that the steam is being released. So it's almost there now. And again, I have the um, ice bath ready for it. The water in the ice. A lot of people, they jiggle it around, try to hurry. I don't. I just let it do its thing. Let it do the natural thing. I don't want to uh, do anything to hurt myself or anyone else. Okay, so what you're going to do now is open, lift, and then I'm going to take the eggs with, with the tongs and put them in the ice bath, and you're going to leave those in there for five minutes. So again, we've got the five, five, five. Five minutes to cook, five minutes of natural release, and five minutes for the ice bath for them to cool down. Okay, so I'll be back in a few minutes and let you see how these nice eggs turn out. So another thing about this, the five minutes is over and I've already cleaned up the kitchen, except for this. So, easy, easy peasy. So let's see how these things turned out. They really are easy to peel also. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, just let me rinse this off. Okay, here's the big moment. Look, whoops, one popped out. I'll put it right. <laughs> Look how that turned out such a nice yellow. I hope you can see it. And like I said, as soon as I get through, I'm going to make deviled eggs. Let me do one more though. I won't put you through all six. But for the chefs in the house, again, this is so nice. I'm going to start doing a lot more videos on Instant Pot. I've talked to several people and I said, well, how often do you use yours? And they're like, well, some people say they use them a lot, some have said, well, I'd rather use the air fryer. So there's different options, but again, this is so easy. Perfect. Not undercooked, overcooked. It's perfect. So the egg lady says it's a go. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've learned something, especially if you've never cooked with the Instant Pot before. I highly recommend getting one. It cooks meats very well also. So I would ask you to Please like, share, subscribe, hit the red subscribe button, and then hit the bell. There's no cost to this. Um, what happens is when you hit that subscribe button and the bell, it just will let you know when I upload videos. Whatever I'm doing that day, you'll instantly know. And um, I would like for my 
YouTube family to grow as much as possible. So please come and join me. Um, I think this is maybe my 10th video, so this is very new. I started on the 11th of December. Um, but if you would, please make comments. Let me know what you think or let me know how I can improve my channel for things that you would enjoy seeing or other ideas that you might have. The other thing, this is huge to me, I have one more subscriber. I just need one more subscriber and I hit 50. To me, that's a goal, that's a goal. So one more subscriber. That's what I need for 50 and then I'll increase my goal more. But I appreciate if you would help me out. I hope you enjoyed this movie today. And of course I enjoyed being with you. Hopefully the next time I make a video I can talk better. Don't know what it is. Send the water today for me. So love you guys and hope you tune in soon. Okay, thank you. Bye.